observed problems, one of the things, uh, again, I, I said to you earlier today, I can put all kinds of stuff in further conditions. The more I put in, the less likely it is the cell is going to accept. And so you have to be able to choose what you want to do. Um, but one of the things that concerns me that people don't seem to grasp yet, in our purchase agreement and our sales disclosure setup, if you pick up a sales disclosure form that says we have a non-operational furnace, and you as the buyer agent don't have the buyer say anything about that, and then they have an inspection, and the inspector, lo and behold, says, furnace is broken. How many of you think a broken furnace in our climate is a defect? <laughs> yes. Well, now they're going to say, well, here's a defect. You have to fix it. What's the seller going to say? No, no, we don't. Because we disclosed it ahead of time. So not only is that an issue, but what if while you're walking through, you see the brown, gooey, wet spot in the ceiling in the master bedroom? And one of the things that I do, when I do, I, I don't do a lot of sales anymore because of my management position in this, but I'll give someone a, an MLS sheet and I copy on the back a property evaluation sheet so that they can go through and you know analyze the, the house itself. I keep one myself. And as we're going through, if I see the brown mucky roof leak indicator, I write that on my sheet. I probably point it out at the time. But I don't raise it again unless that's the house they want to write the offer on. I now have my notes. I can say, hey, remember we saw the stain in the ceiling. Do we want to make that an issue in our purchase agreement? Do we want to put in the purchase agreement, you have to fix the wet spot? Do we want to, in the purchase agreement, say, we don't want radon? You'll see the next language, uh, I'll kind of put them together, the observed problems and then radon. Notice that I have all cap and bold language and then I have some regular font. The all cap and bold and underlined language can be used for any issue you have. If, whatever issue it is, but in this case, rate, unmitigated radon exceeds 3.9 pico curies per liter, purchasers may rescind this purchase agreement and receive a full refund of earnest money. That's, to me, a drop-dead provision. The next one isn't drop-dead. It says if there is high radon, seller will pay for a radon mitigation system. Instead of killing the deal, it just says the seller has to agree. Why do I want to put that in the purchase